Hi there guys, I hope you are doing well, staying safe and healthy wherever you are based during this difficult coronavirus time. This video is going to be all about my vision board. So if you don't know what a vision board is, then basically the whole idea of a vision board is to put all of your ideas in one place, whether that be on a whiteboard, a piece of paper, a collage on a wall or a Pinterest uh, folder and just somewhere to put all of your ideas down so you can keep checking back and the idea is the more you check on it, the more you see it, if you see it every single day, the more likely your goals and targets are gonna happen. You're gonna make them happen because you see them more often. So at the start of the year I decided to give this a go and I created my own vision board. But bear in mind when I created this vision board I didn't know this whole coronavirus situation was going to happen so everything that I did write down, the majority of it, let's say, hasn't happened. But I wanted to give the vision board idea a go because I'd never done it before and I wanted to see what I could accomplish and achieve from doing this and if it actually works. So I did my original vision board on a whiteboard back in London. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring the vision board with me backpacking because it wouldn't fit in my backpack. But fortunately for me, I did make a YouTube video about it. So if you want to see the original vision board idea YouTube, I'll leave the link in the description box below or linked up here. So I thought it'd be really fun to create this video, look back at the video I originally made at the goals and the targets that I had originally created and seeing as we're going into a new year very very soon where the hell has the time gone by the way this year has flown by and so much has happened in this year but I'll be very glad when this year has ended and let's hope that 2021 is going to be a much better year for everyone it's going to be fun to look back let's hope that I have completed some goals that would be great. Just before I started filming, I looked back at my video and one of the sentences I said was, I'm really excited to look back at this board at the end of the year and see how much I've been able to tick off. Nothing, Lucy. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> right, so let's get into it. And whilst I'm going through what I'd originally set, I'm also going to be setting some new ones or changing the original ones to what could be for the next year ahead. Vision board 2021. Okay, so my first goal that I had written down was travel to three new countries. Well, I definitely didn't get to three new countries. I did have three that I wanted to go to in this year, but the one that I went to first was Sri Lanka and it was at the top of my bucket list to come to Sri Lanka. I have wanted to come here for so, so long. I was meant to come here last year, as in 2019. However, that's when the bombings happened, so all the travel got suspended in Sri Lanka then. Hi there guys, I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy wherever you are based during this difficult coronavirus time. This video is going to be all about my vision board. So if you don't know what a vision board is, then basically the whole idea of a vision board is to put all of your ideas in one place, whether that be on a whiteboard, a piece of paper, a collage on a wall or a Pinterest uh, folder and just somewhere to put all of your ideas down so you can keep checking back and the idea is the more you check on it, the more you see it, if you see it every single day, the more likely your goals and targets are gonna happen. You're gonna make them happen because you see them more often. So at the start of the year, I decided to give this a go. So yeah, that's when I was meant to originally come here, didn't come. So then I took this chance in March to come and I'm so glad I did and luckily for me I got here just before everything kicked off with COVID-19 and this is where I have stayed. This is where I've quarantined myself, this is where I am now, this is where I live. So I'm super happy, I couldn't imagine a better place to be. So yeah, definitely not gone to three new countries but did go to one new country. So that's something. So what I'm going to add on to my vision board 2021 is to travel to two new countries because who knows what the travel restrictions are going to be like for this new year coming. How long is coronavirus going to last for? Nobody knows. Plus I'm super happy here in Sri Lanka. I really, really love it. I've got a good little life going on here. So I'm quite happy to stay put for now. 
The second goal I created was to take part in three new volunteer projects. Again, like the first goal, I definitely didn't complete three, but I did complete one, and that was volunteering at Animal SOS Sri Lanka, which is where I've stayed. <laughs> so for the new year coming, I'm just going to add to take part in two new volunteer projects, not like three, like I'd originally put last year. My third goal that I created at the start of the year is to be in a better headspace by the end of the year. And for sure, I can definitely say I'm a completely different person. I'm in a completely different frame of mind. I've come so far since the start of the year and I'm gonna say it, but I'm so proud of myself for getting myself out of what I was at the start of the year because it was not a nice place to be. It's not nice to constantly feel low and under pressure and unconfident. It's just not nice. And even though I had really good people around me, really good family support, I was keeping myself busy, I still wasn't happy and England wasn't helping me with that because I'm not the biggest fan of England, let's say, and England's weather. So flying to Sri Lanka, it was a, a quick decision for me, like, oh, I've just got to get away. I'm just going to book a one-way ticket to Sri Lanka. There was a plan of coming back. Like, I was only going to be gone for one month. But obviously, like I said, with coronavirus, it meant me staying out here, which meant I had to spend more time doing what I love, and I am doing what I love. I'm spending every day surrounded by dogs, it's constantly hot, the sun is out and getting my vitamin D. I'm surrounded by an abundant source of fruits and vegetables and pretty much plastic free. Like I am living my best life at the moment and coming out here was the best decision I made for my mental and physical health. I wanna, at the end of the year, be able to look back at the start of the year and I can say to myself for sure I'm in a much better place than I was at the start of the year. I'm just a happier person now and I'm I'm gutted that I went through what I did at the start of the year, well, at the end of 2019, start of 2020, but that's made me who I am today. So even though it wasn't very nice, I've come out in a really good place and yeah, I couldn't be happier now. So my fourth goal was to go on a three to five day hike. I really like going on hikes, I like being immersed in all the culture and traditions. When I went on the three to five day hike in Myanmar, I had the best time. Like it was amazing staying in the homestays and having the families cooking and seeing the local life and the work and everything. But because of coronavirus again this year, it hasn't happened for me to go on this um, long hike. But I have been researching and there is one hike I would really, well there's quite a lot of hikes in Sri Lanka that I want to do, but there's one in particular that I can go on a few days and you go camping and stuff. Um, I'd really like to do that so when the travel restrictions lift, I would really like to, um, to do that, yeah that would be really good. So I'm going to keep that on my list because it's not yet completed and I would really like to do it. Ooh, so the fifth goal that I had um, at the start of the year was to, well originally it was to reach 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. My goal for 2020 is to get to 1,000 subscribers. But then I changed it to 2,000 subscribers. Maybe I should say 2,000 subscribers? And even now we're not at the end of 2020 just yet and I'm just under 3,000 subscribers. So I've definitely ticked off this goal as well, um, which I'm so soaked about. So for everyone who has subscribed to my channel or has been here from the start or you've, you're new joining and you've been watching all my videos, thank you so much. Like it means so much to me that you are here watching my videos. Like that's kind of insane, but it also makes me really like determined. I wanna keep going, like I wanna show you guys what I'm up to but also I want to show what I'm passionate about. If you've watched some of my recent videos you'll know that I'm passionate about plastic free, I'm passionate about animals and the plant based lifestyle and how to be eco friendly and sustainable as possible. So yeah if you're interested in that then please stick around. If you want to see any other kind of videos just let me know in the comments below. 
I am trying my best to get videos out once a week but sometimes it is hard with a lack of Wi-Fi sometimes and also a lack of time because I am working a lot of hours so um, but I do really love my YouTube channel and I really want to keep it going and if you're not subscribed already please consider hitting the subscribe button because it's so exciting to see this channel grow and to grow a community and hear your recommendations I absolutely love it so again thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for joining my YouTube community I am going to set a goal for 2021 5,000 subscribers so please subscribe if you haven't already so the next goal of mine was to move to a different house I wasn't happy with well I was happy with the house I was living in in London but it was quite expensive for me at the time um, so yeah that was one of my goals when I made this vision board I need to move house I need a fresh start fresh house hopefully cheaper money <laughs> but then as everyone knows I'm in Sri Lanka now so I did move house I actually moved countries like I went one step further ditched the whole England idea altogether and I came to Sri Lanka so that goal is well and truly complete so the next goal that I set was to join a dance class or start dancing and I would really have loved to have started doing this but it didn't happen again because of what this year has been um, for everybody something like dancing in a group is not the best thing to do um, with this situation so I wasn't able to do it but I have looked into some Sri Lankan dancing I would really like to do that but I can't really find much in the south I can only find things in Colombo so if you are aware of different Sri Lankan dance classes that I can take part in when we don't have the whole COVID-19 thingy my bob um, can you just let me know in the comments below because I'd really like to take part in some dancing and I'd love to learn Sri Lankan dancing I'd love to learn lots of different dances wherever I go because there's so much history behind the dancing so yeah if you know of anything just let me know please Yeah, so I'll keep that on my board to try to do more dance. Even if it's just in my garden, I could just go in my garden and do some dancing. Speaking about exercise, my next goal was to carry on with my gym commitment. Um, every day back in England, well, I'd have one off day, but pretty much every day I'd be going to the gym. And I absolutely loved it. I got really, really addicted. It felt really good. Like I felt good inside for going to the gym. And it was a really good commitment to have to like always be going, get in that kind of routine. I really enjoyed it. But then when I came to Sri Lanka, I stopped anything like that. I've only been for a run on the beach once since I've been here. <laughs> and that nearly killed me, but it was really fun. But I feel like my work, um, is very demanding physically so I do get my exercise in it's not like I'm lazing around on my butt all day like I am doing stuff lifting dogs is a really good like <laughs> bicep workout okay um, so yeah I'm still doing that but obviously I don't have the gym but I would really like to sign up to a gym that's local to me but I just I haven't yet been so it's going to be on my list because I'm still yet to do it. I still want to do it. I love the gym. So a goal of mine has always been to learn a language. But at the start of the year, I put a goal to learn Spanish, which I've always wanted to learn Spanish. I do know a little bit of Spanish and I really love Spain. Like I always used to go there on family holidays. But obviously, since I've moved away, I don't need any Spanish language out here. Instead, I need Singhla which if you've been watching my recent videos you know that I have been trying to learn Sinhala and it is more easy to learn Sinhala with a Sinhala boyfriend it's definitely pushed me and made me have to learn because when I first met him he didn't speak any English at all like none it was very hard I don't know how all this started but it did 
if you want to know about that, let me know. <laughs> I'm sure we can sit down and, and let you know that. Yeah, I, I had no choice. I had to learn Sinhala. So yeah, I think a goal of mine obviously isn't to be learning Spanish whilst I'm here. It's to carry on with my Sinhalese language and hopefully get better. Another goal that I set, I set because I am really bad at this and that was to drink more water and to you that may seem like a really simple like why are you putting that on your vision board kind of thing. Well to me, I don't remember to drink water, like I don't know what it is and it's really frustrating, like I don't like the fact that I don't drink enough water, but even now I still don't drink enough water. Even living here with the climate and the amount I sweat and work, I'm still not drinking enough water. So yeah, it's going back on this vision board because I don't know what's wrong with me guys. There's something wrong with me obviously that I'm not drinking enough water. And then I'm getting headaches a lot, I feel tired, so yeah. Drinking water, Lucy, it's a big one. Being grateful and having a positive mindset. Being grateful for what we have in life to continue this um, positive way of thinking. Now that is something I've definitely carried out throughout this year and it's something that I will continue with for the rest of my life because now I'm in this way of thinking, it's so good. Like whenever you feel like you're in a tricky situation or things haven't gone quite as planned, then it's it's easy to get yourself down in those situations but when you're thinking positively and you're grateful for the small things that you have around you and for how how you're living like where you've come from for your life you're grateful for everything well then when you're thinking like that it's easier to get through the tricky horrible situations when you are grateful for things in your life so yeah I'll definitely continue that I'm not going to add it to my board because I'm always going to be thinking like this because I think it's a really healthy way to think being grateful and having a positive mind confidence and positivity for me is a goal in itself at the start of the year like I was saying earlier I was in a completely different mindset and along with that I was really underconfident like it was horrible like I'd have panic attacks stepping outside it got really bad I don't know why that happened in some circumstances I do understand why in other circumstances I don't it was just something I was going through in my life that stage of my life um, which I'm sure maybe some of you can relate with that but yeah I was not confident at all and I knew that I needed to come out of it because it wasn't healthy for me because when I was younger I was a really confident person I used to dance on stage in front of many many people so I had that confidence but then I lost it and I didn't understand why and that was frustrating so I knew I had to get it back so like I said booking that ticket to Sri Lanka that made me confident. I was on my own. I left London on my own. I left England on my own. I flew all the way to Sri Lanka on my own. And a few years ago, I probably, I thought I never could have done that. But here I am. I came across the world on my own and I've pretty much set up my own little life over here on my own. Obviously I'm not on my own anymore, but I was on my own to get to this point. And I'm really confident now. Like. Now I can, I feel like I could fly anywhere if I could. Definitely solo travel really makes you, you know, because you really have to push out of your comfort zone, you push your limits, you meet new people. It's great, I love it. So yeah, that's not going on the list because I've completed it already. So another thing that was on my list was go back to Myanmar this year, which obviously I haven't done because I've only been to Sri Lanka this year. Um, but I would love to go back to Myanmar at some point because I do feel like I've got unfinished business there. There is an animal sanctuary that has really hit my heart quite deep and I would love to go back there and help them more with different projects. And I have funding that I have been fundraising for so I've got a little stash of funding for them um, and for other sanctuaries that I visit as well. But especially Golden Heart in Yangon, they definitely need this funding and it's not easy to transfer it to them. I wanna give them the money in hand and be there to set up the project. It's quite a corrupt situation over there, um, especially with animal welfare and the government don't really wanna get involved with any animal welfare projects. So with the money that I have fundraised, I want to go there physically myself 
and get sterilization projects underway and other construction works underway like I did last time and there I can see where the money is going and that it's going straight to the dogs because obviously that's why people have donated like that's why where I want my money to go I want to see that it's going straight to the dogs and that's why I made the videos about it last time in Myanmar so that people could see exactly where their money is going but yeah going back to Myanmar is a huge thing for me so yeah maybe it will be on this list as well if 2021 allows it then I would happily go back there and try and get more stuff done for the animals Another travel thing on my list, obviously most of it is travel related because I love traveling, but the other goal that was on my list is to do five dives this year, which hasn't happened. I haven't even done any dives, which I'm really gutted about. It means I'm gonna have to do my refresher course again. And I'm here in Sri Lanka, which is like, has really good dives. So I've done my research. I've seen some really good wreck dives that I'd like to go to. And obviously you can dive with turtles and other awesome marine animals. So yeah, definitely to do some more diving, but I don't really have a set number of dives that I wanna do. I'm just gonna put diving. Plus I'm in this amazing part of the world. Like why shouldn't I do this diving? Just a couple more left on my original to-do list. Another one of my goals was to go to Borneo and see orangutans. So yeah, again, another travel related thing, which obviously hasn't happened, but it's gonna be on my list because I haven't been to Borneo either. And I'd say now that it's like one of the top countries that I'd love to visit. So go to Borneo and see the orangutans, which, kind of ties in to travel to two new countries because Borneo would be one of those countries. I'm going to put it here. Oh, and let me just um, reiterate that. I want to see orangutans in the wild or at least in a semi-wild environment. I won't go to a zoo to see an orangutan. And the last goal that I had set was to meditate, which I haven't done any of. <laughs> and I really want to because it ties in with the positive thoughts, the gratefulness, like it all ties together to have this balanced mental health. I would really love to try to meditate but every time I've tried my mind just wanders and I know that people say like that's how you start, that's how you learn. I just don't have the patience right now to learn to meditate but I do really want to at some point so I'm going to pop that down as well. So yeah, most of my goals have stayed the same or have changed slightly from the year before. And obviously some goals I have completed, so I'm really happy about that. Um, there are a couple of other goals I would like to add for 2021. One of them I'm already in the midst of completing, that is to be more confident riding a scooter. When I first came to Sri Lanka, I was really wobbly on a scooter, even though I had ridden before in like India, Vietnam, Thailand, I was still really underconfident with riding scooters. But now I've been riding a scooter maybe like every other day. I'm definitely getting more confident on the scooter, but I'd like to be more confident, especially with corners. I'm still a little bit wobbly, or when big lorries come my way, that's quite scary. So I'm gonna add that to the list. And my last thing that I would love to learn, especially since I'm here, I'm in the right place to do it, and I have a pro of a boyfriend that can do it, I would love to learn to climb a coconut tree. I know it's not the safest thing, and I'm probably, I probably, even if I could, I wouldn't go all the way to the top of a coconut tree, but I would love to learn to like get halfway. And it's a good form of exercise. So yeah, I'd really love to climb a coconut tree. I can do like now two hops if it's an easy coconut tree. But yeah, I'd like to get stronger and be able to do that. That would be pretty awesome. So yeah, these are my goals set. This is my vision board for 2021. I really hope that I can look back at the end of the year, look back to this vision board and have completed a couple more. That would be really, really good.
And if you're interested in creating a vision board, I highly recommend it. It's really fun and it's a really good way of trying to complete your goals. You don't have to do it on a whiteboard like I've done it. I've also got a Pinterest folder as well, which I really like to look at and see all the colorful images. That inspires me a little bit more than looking at my writing on a whiteboard. But you could also do a collage on a wall. I did that as well when I was a lot younger, but it wasn't really a vision board. Or you can just write it down on a piece of paper. It doesn't matter how you do it, but it is a really good way to like put all of your ideas in one area and then really focus on that. I'd be really interested to know in what goals you are setting yourself for 2021. Have you got any goals similar to mine? And also I'd really like to know if you set yourself a goal at the start of this year and that you have completed, like a goal that you, you have been dreaming about completing. I would love to know, just pop it in the comments down below. That's it from me then guys. Thank you so much as always for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so I complete my goal of 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you in the next video guys. Take care and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.